We are going to study about abscesses in relation to mastoid infections. So there are six types of abscesses may be formed by mastoid infections. The first one is post auricular abscesses. This is the commonest abscesses that forms over the mastoid. And due to this abscess, there is a displacement of pinna. So pinna displaced forward outwards and downwards but this is occur in adults now in infants or in children's the abscess form over the macaeon strangle and this is the mcq question that is in which part the post auricular abscess is found in children's or in infants the answer is macaeon strangle the another one is diagrammatic abscess it is a rare complication of mastoid infection. So what do you think where it is occur? Yes, this is the diagrammatic bone and it is occur in front of pinna or we can say in front and above the pinna and it is generally associated with edema of upper eyelid. In this cases, pus collects either superficial or deep to the temporalis muscle. So what is the reason behind this? It is occurred due to infection of zygomatic air cells situated at the posterior root of zygoma. And third one is basal abscess. So how it is occur? Basal abscess may occur following acute mastoiditis. When the pus breaks through the thin medial side of tip of the mastoid and present as a swelling in the upper part of the neck. The abscess may lie deep to sternocleidomastoid that is this muscle and pushing this muscle outward. It can follow the posterior belly of digastric and present as a swelling between the tip of the mastoid and the angle of jaw that is in this part. It can be present in upper part of posterior triangle. So what are the clinical features? The onset of this basal abscess is sudden. There is a pain, fever, a tender swelling in the neck and torticolis can be seen. And the most common and observing feature is that the patient gives the history of purulent otorrhea. So how can we diagnose this abscess? We can diagnose by CT scan. In this, it is evident by in left side, there is a thick collection in middle ear cavity and mastered air cells with bony erosion and swelling of the neck may be established the diagnosis of basal abscess and now what is this treatment the treatment is cortical mastoidectomy and drainage of neck abscess through a separate incision and after the incision we can administrate intravenous antibiotics the fourth one is lux abscess the lux abscess it is also called as Meatal abscess. Lux abscess is a rare but important complication of acute otitis media or mastoid infection, whereby infection spreads from the middle ear and resulting in subperiosteal collection beneath the temporal muscle. Unlike other extracranial abscesses relating to acute otitis media, Lux abscess is not believed to involve the mastoid bone. The pus breaks through the bony wall between the antrum and external osseous meatus and swelling is seen in deep part of bony meatus that is in this part. The fifth one is Citellis abscess. The Citellis abscess is an extratemporal complication of otitis media or mastoid infection. It occurs when pus from mastoid tip tickles down along the posterior belly of digastric muscle to the occipital and cervical region. So, the abscess is formed behind the mastoid more toward the occipital bone that is in this region. And the last one is parapharyngeal or retropharyngeal abscess. A parapharyngeal abscess is a deep neck space abscess of a parapharyngeal space which is lateral to superior pharyngeal constrictor muscle and medial to masseter muscle. This space is divided by styloid process. 
into anterior and posterior compartment. This abscess is result from the infection of a peritubal cells due to acute coalescent mastoiditis. This is all about abscesses in relation to mastoid infection. So we are cover posterior auricular abscess, zygomatic abscess, basoid abscess, meatal abscess or lux abscess, cetalis abscess and last one is parapharyngeal or retropharyngeal abscess. Thank you.